Hey guys, me Tessa Blaine, I'm back again. And today I've got something that's been bugging me for, well, ever since I've got this car. I've got a 2020 Tesla Model Y with the induction wheels. And one thing that I will tell you with these wheels that I have a problem with, and that's called the um, curb rash. Okay, curb rash happens when you make your turns a little bit too sharply and you hit that curb or you're pulling into a parking spot and you got that curb right there and you run up next to it a little too close and it tends to scratch your rims. Um, I've had some issues with that in the past. My wife's driven this car, my daughter's driven this car. I've driven it, we got 73,000 miles on it right now. So these wheels, they got some pretty good curb rash on them. So what I did, is I got with a company named Magback. Magback has these awesome rim protectors that I am going to unbox, install, and give them a test and I'm gonna see how they do. All right, so let's get started. All right, to get started, I wanna use my front of my car here as a table, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up the box that they came in. Uh, just a friendly reminder, uh, when installing you may make sure you apply a considerable amount of force. Don't worry though, we've got you covered. To ensure a smooth installation process, we highly recommend checking out the helpful instructions video available at rimcase.com slash help. Okay, so we got that. And, uh, looks like we got four individual boxes here. I got the complete set for four wheels. So we got that one. That one, that one, and that one. And we also have this really cool little tool here. It's gonna be a pry bar tool that uh, we will need to help install these. So we got this tool right here. Keep it to the side. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and put it in my pocket now. Okay, let's open up this first box. And let's see here. Can I use the pry bar? Yep. All right. Install protective film before snapping. All right, we got some instructions here. Here is our protective film that we're going to put on the rims and some more of the protective films. We got both of those. And these are the rim protectors right here. This should be enough for one full set. They got the 3M tape on the back. And we got alcohol towels. We use that to clean the wheels. All right, I want to see some of my pre-existing curb rash that I have. As you can see, I've scraped a few. It's got a little bit over here. And a lot of times I just touch it up with black paint. But right now, I'm gonna to try to put these rim protectors on and see how they do. The first thing you wanna do is take your alcohol towels here that they provided with you, and you're gonna clean your areas around here. That way, when you put on your adhesive tape, it will stick a lot better. All right. Now, I will point out that I already have some rub or curb rash right here, so I'm going to put these over to help hide some of it. Now that I've done that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these smaller pieces here, protect the film. And I'm going to put them right over this area just like that put it down and I'm going to push them over the back okay all right I want to put the next one on I'm going to try to get as much of the bubbles out as I can. 
but I'm not going to worry about it too much because you won't see it. Okay, so they did give us a few extra. I got two extra uh, protective strips right here. That's fine. Didn't need them. Now we're going to start on the bigger ones. They did say don't worry too much about the bubbles that you have in here. Just get it on the best you can because the protectors will hide them. But you still want to try to get as much of the bubbles out as possible. All right, let's keep going. This one here is for the valve stem. So we're gonna put it on over the valve stem. As you can see, I got the protective covers, the tape on them. Not worried too much about all the bubbles, making sure that the tape is on there. And now I'm gonna get ready to get started and we're gonna install, the first piece is around the valve stem, is the first one you wanna start with, and then you go clockwise. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna pull out the valve cap piece first, which is this one. I'm going to take off my 3M tape that's on the back. Got it off. Alright. Start off with. We're going to start off putting the inside bottom corner first. And then I'm going to push in, get the bottom in, and then clip on the rest just I'm also going to feel around on the back on the inside and make sure the clip is installed and it is okay we will continue clockwise and you can see here when it clips in it's almost a smooth fit. Alright, keep going around. Alright, I'm going to show you a little bit closer view. Like I said, when you put this in, you get this bottom corner, right hand corner in first, then I'm going to bring up the, the left side, and then I'm going to clip it. on it just like that you can always feel on the back side of it to make sure that it is clipped on the back and now you got a perfect seal right there where they come together this right here is the clip right here now we want to make sure we go on to the back side you see how good it hides any curb rash that i had there previously Looks good. All right, I'm not sure if I showed it a second ago, but when you put put this last piece on right here, when it goes on, it is on top of this piece, the very first piece that we put on. It started off like this. So all you gotta do is pry up a little bit and get that piece to go on there. Make sure you got that one still on there and it's, it's good to go. Now, I just want to point out that with it installed, if you're up really close, you can tell that they're there. But when you get further back, you can't tell they're there and no more, no more curb rash. Looks like I got brand new wheels on there again. Not bad. Whew, it's hot. Boy, it's like still 95 degrees here and it's about seven o'clock at night here in Florida. But anyway, so I got the um, first wheel done. I'm going to work on the rest of mine. And after I get them installed, then I want to try something. And I was curious, how would they hold up going through a car wash? 
Are they gonna fall off? Are they going to make it? Cause you know, the car wash has the automatic scrubbers that scrub your wheels and clean them. So I'm gonna put these suckers on and then I'm gonna drive it through the car wash tomorrow morning and this, uh, see how they hold up. But I just wanna point out that they, um, the way they, they seal up there in between each piece, I mean, it looks like it's one solid piece all the way around. I really, really do like the way it's installed. It helps, it's gonna protect my, my rims a whole lot more. All right, let's put on the rest of them. All right, so I am going to, well, I'm going through the car wash as we speak. This is one of those automatic car washes that I enjoy going through while I'm, uh, because I don't like to hand wash my car. And you can see the steering wheel is moving because the wheels are hitting the sides and near the end of the car wash it's actually one of those scrubbers that sits there and scrubs your wheels so I'm kind of curious are they going to stay on um, I think they are I think the way they interlock and the way they lock on um, to each other and they clip on around the back and everything I think they're going to stay on just fine but hey I'm going to uh, give it a try this is something you know that I go through these car washes a couple times a week at least so all right let's check it out all right looks like they stayed on pretty good i don't see any uh, part of it coming off all the way around check the other side out yeah looks pretty good yeah, all the interlocking pieces are on. Looking good. All right, stood up to my test. All right, so one more thing I wanted to show you is this say that I did damage one of these. Um, I hit a curb or something happened to it. Well, you can buy an extra kit. And if you buy an extra kit, you get however many pieces there is here 10 or 12 more pieces so every time you damage one you could take that kit and you could replace it and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to replace one of these right now we're just going to use this piece right here I'm going to bring it up let's say that this is your damaged one you throw it away you take your new one put the bottom on first and then you're going to pull back on this other piece just to get that interlocking piece on there and you're done that's how easy it is to reinstall one of these all right guys that's it so um overall i think that the um these wheel protectors by magback i think they look good Especially, I mean, if you come right up on it and you're within a few inches of it, yeah, you can see that there's separate pieces going all the way around. But most people are just going to be looking at it 10, 15 feet away or even more, and they blend right in with the wheels. With these wheels, they blend right in. You cannot tell a difference. And when I'm 10 feet, 10, 15 feet away from my vehicle, before I put those rim protectors on, I could see those scratches and all the curb rash that I had. Now... I can't, I don't see it anymore because of the protectors that's on there. Um, like I said, if you buy an extra um, package, you can buy them individually, uh, the boxes individually, and you will have a spare kit to replace the ones that you do damage, okay? Um, it doesn't take very long to replace them, um, and th they're easy to put on, okay? It, it, now, it is a little time consuming having to put the, um, the stickers, the, the little protectors on first by the time you do that. And, and I also don't recommend doing it out in 95 degree heat. Um, it, it, it was uh, pretty hot last night when I was trying to put them on. I tried to wait till the temperature cooled down, but it never did. So anyways, the, um, the only downfall that I could think about these, and I'm being honest, is if you have to replace your tires. I believe in order to replace the tires, they're going to have to take all those off first, then let them uh, let the tire shop people replace your tires. Once they replace your tires, then you can put them back on. Um, 
but I don't think that the uh, tire changing kit, the, the, the way they remove the tires, I have a feeling that they would rub right along the, um, the rim protectors and take them off. Hey, if anybody has these and you've done that and you've taken it to a tire place and they replace your tires or anything like that and you didn't have to take them off, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, I am kind of curious, but I think that you would have to take off your rim protectors before you take your tires in to get them replaced. But, um, but at least your wheels are going to be in better condition. If I would have used these from the beginning, from the time we got the car, uh, my wheels would be looking a lot better right now. Um, you know, like I said, we, we've hit a lot of curbs. Um, accidents happen. I mean, people say, oh, just, just drive better. Um, watch what you're doing. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't always happen. Sometimes you're not thinking. Sometimes you just assume you had that turn and you make it and you hit it and, and it scratches your rims. But um, anyways, guys, hey, if you haven't done already, done so already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment down below. Um, tell me if you've had these before, if you're thinking about getting them, leave me a comment down below. I do have their link straight to their website down below in the description. If you're interested in them, um, I believe I have a discount code I will put in there. All right, guys, keep having fun out there. Be safe. Most of all, keep driving. Talk to you guys later. See ya. Bye.